Okay, in this video we're going to make some nitric acid. And what we've got here is we have 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide in a 10 milliliter graduated cylinder surrounded by an ice water bath to help the nitrogen dioxide gas dissolve better into our water. You can also use water instead of hydrogen peroxide. You won't have as good of a yield. It's also recommended that you have a high percentage hydrogen peroxide. This is only 3%, which is your common that you can pick up in a drugstore. But if you got 35% available, use that instead. I've only got three, so that's what we're using. In our flask over here is 40 grams of potassium nitrate. You can use pretty much any nitrate salt like sodium nitrate or even a nitrate-based fertilizer, provided that it has actual nitrates in it. There's also 25 milliliters of water in there and about 16 grams of copper. And we're going to add 50 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Because <clears throat> what we need to do is create nitrogen dioxide gas to go into our hydrogen peroxide mixture to give us nitric acid. So, get our hose ready. Let me just insert our pipe head in here. cylinders in there. Now all we do is add our hydrochloric acid and just let it go. Going some into the mixture, you can see here on our flask that it has changed color and we've got our hydrochloric acid, potassium nitrate, copper, and water all mixed together in there. And as you can see, it has changed color because it is producing the nitrogen dioxide gas that we need. And if we move over to our peroxide, you can see the bubbles of nitrogen dioxide gas going into it and mostly dissolving into it, of course, you get a little bit of an escape, but that's why we got our cold water bath to help some of that nitrogen dioxide dissolve more before it escapes out of that graduated cylinder. So we're just going to let this reaction continue going, and then when it's all done, we'll come back to it. Okay, coming back a little later, you can see that the reaction in the flask is pretty much going now the way it should be because once you get that nice dark color in there you can see that the reaction is pretty much going because it's converting the copper into copper nitrate and of course the nitrogen dioxide gas has been given off which you can see it's bubbling out plenty in our graduated cylinder now and I'm splattering a little bit of my peroxide out of it because of being at an angle with all that gas being formed but again, we're going to let this run until it doesn't produce any more gas, and then we'll test out the nitric acid. Alright, our reaction is pretty much done here. So, so we've got copper nitrate in there, we still got some bubbles of gas, but no big deal. You can still see a little bit coming out, but again, we're pretty much done. You can see a little bit of discoloration on the top here. I don't know if it's visible in the video that indicates our nitrogen dioxide gas is kind of just floating on top there. And this is pretty much done, so we just got to take apart the apparatus and get our acid out of there. See all that nice nitrogen dioxide gas going right out our vent. You know, let that all come right out. And 
again, we had a little bit of pressure in there. And it's all coming out now. Now we want to test out our nitric acid. So let me get a little cylinder here. Up first. So get ourselves a little beaker. And we lost a little bit of our acid. Pour a little bit in there. Again, it just got a very slight tint in there. And then what we're going to do is cut a piece of that copper and we're going to drop it in and it should produce the characteristic nitrogen oxide. Move that on the side. Bring that in. Zoom in. All right, here's our little sample piece of copper. We're going to drop it in. And there you go. You can see it fizzing. Because again, nitric acid is the only acid that can dissolve copper. So the fact that it's fizzing when we drop our copper in there concludes that we have produced nitric acid. Now, I don't know what the concentration is because with this method, there's no way to really make a certain concentration of acid. If you needed a certain concentration, like 70%, you would need to use fractional distillation. I don't exactly have any distillation equipment, nor do I need that much concentrated acid, so this method works just fine.